Yeah, so they just want a reference. Yeah. Okay, two minutes with these words. I'm either going to fail or have a seizure. I don't know. I feel droopy. Well, it's a, it's eleven minutes into a lesson, so yeah, I don't really need to get in and get going. Yes, he wouldn't let me go to school, but that bastard never gave me a chance. Yeah, yeah. I'm quoting. He wouldn't uh, let me go to school. <laughs> uh, next one, number five, Hannah. That's right. But he was still and wasn't incredible. A person of his intelligence. His I have to explain that. Yes, um, and he is so um, intelligent and so talented, isn't he? Point of view might be interesting there. Um, and then to be an urchin is just some, you know, kid in a street, isn't it? Scratching around, you know, like an Oliver Twist. Uh, so number six, Emery. Um, yeah, substantive poison like injection of some narcotic. A drug that invading his face, the this sort of failing relationship between parents, long term um, companions. Okay, the next one is, is from an extract that we're going to be looking at today. The word is envy. Thank you. Envy was constant. Was constantly with him. Next one, Phoebe. Um, he and Dick were running. This is in section three, isn't it? Um, yeah, number nine, Zach. Yeah, Good. So a measure of sympathy. Now just go back to that last quotation and high up. Just highlight the bit that you are. I am thinking um, Harry Smith or oh, and and ugly and lonely. Again, those adjectives tell the point of view, don't they? An ugly and lonely progress towards one mirage and then another. What's a mirage? 